Hello fans and welcome to tonight's game between the Appalachian State Mountaineers and the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Number 10 is an unbelievable player who's been given the reins to take his team to victory. He's a player that can do a lot of things for you on offense. He can put up big numbers if he has to, but he's just as comfortable setting a screen as he is shooting the ball. The Demon Deacons will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Demon Deacons, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. First of all, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Next, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. And lastly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. The point guard with the ball. Both teams looking to get things going here. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Fed the low block for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. A guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. The point guard takes the feed. He shoots from the elbow, makes the shot. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student section looks like they're having a great time. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He fakes the shot. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. And we'll go to the free throw line. No good. Pulls down the board. Basic. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Inside. With anticipation defensively. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Transition opportunity coming up. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Adam, momentary look from three-point land. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from right of the circle. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. The point guard gets the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Inside. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. 
He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They work the perimeter. Trying to pack it inside. He hammers it home. The center gets the pass. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Up and inside. The small forward takes the pass. Steal. They run it up into transition. Working it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Misses the second shot. He cleans the glass. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Strips the ball. Controlling the ball. Goes up for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> now they work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. A little frustration right there. He'll regroup the offense. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Stolen away. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the inside, trying to draw some contact. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nice shot. Barber is feeling great right now. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Tries one from three-point land. Tickles a twine. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards out there. Yeah, that helps. Oh, yes. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Watch out, the five-second count is getting close, Brad. He rejects it. Turns it over. He tries a jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. 
outside. Nice fake. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the ball handler. Ten on the shot clock. Wake Forest are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. We're about ready to hit the floor. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. The man is off the charts, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Picked out of the air. They're working around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. <laughs> Up and inside. Leans in. Perfectly executed. We got to see that one again. like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Both teams are looking to get something going here. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. For the bucket. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Nice little jam right there. The one hand jam and stump. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. There's the trap. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> get 
get that sucker out of the game, man. The offense is having a hard time finding the open look. Great defense. Some play on the defensive end. He shoots from outside. He drains it. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us away the pass. Barber makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Oh, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He'll visit the charity strike. He got it. Wake Forest had put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Tim. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Double team now, bad angle. From three-point range, goes in. Picks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. Jumped in front to take it away. Tries for two. Delay it. That's a 12 nothing run. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He makes the block. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. It's that what makes college so special. The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Check him out, Brad. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. And he'll kick it back outside. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Ten on the shot clock. And the ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Fast break possibility coming. There's a slam. 
it fly off the rim and no good they work it around the perimeter great defensive play anticipating well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action and the fans are going wild you're right the student sections the bands and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man the offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. And that's basic. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Things are going well, and it's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy in the way. Sinks the shot. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. There's a double team waiting there. From beyond the arc. Gets it to go. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Now they work it around the perimeter. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For the bucket, perfectly executed. And now they'll bring it up. On the top of the key. There was no doubt about that one. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a double team. Takes it off him. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Opportunity for two for one. Turnover City now always really the gate any offense. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Looking for a good shot. Unloads a three. Sinks it. up for two. Perfectly executed. He puts it up there. At halftime, the Demon Deacons are ahead by 31. Nick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. 
Wake Forest shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Fantastic post defense, Dan. Hey, just like you, Mr. Nestler, that's great D. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. High post screen. So effective, that screen. He gets the shot to fall. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Puts up the shot. He buries it. The Demon Deacons are up by 33. Gave it up. Defensively trying to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They're working around the arc. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Got a nice screen. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He's got hops like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. Obvious foul. High post flashes for the opportunity. For two. And off the mark. Tries a three. He nails the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Ern's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Sets the screen for his teammate. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The fake. He looks at the hoop. He goes with a baby hook. And he missed. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Scorches the net. 
How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Shoots it way off target. Puts it up, looking for contact. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Knocks down the three. Roll that replay ready, boys. Picks off the pass. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. The Mountaineers trail by 33. draws a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They get it out in the transition. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. For two, they still don't score. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Definitely a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there. But look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. At the foul line. Hits the first shot. A second. He hits his third. The Mountaineers are down by 36. Goes up for two. In and out. On the top of the key. He couldn't get it to fall. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Up and inside. We'll take the shot. Wake Forest are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Gets it back out. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Hughes picks up. He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, that's what his coach likes to see. His boy's going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets it.
nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. get a good shot this trip. There he is, strips the ball loose. He pushes it hard up the court. On the outside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Demon Deacons lead by 35. In the paint. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. That's a foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Thanks, Aaron. Almost lost the basketball. Steals a pass. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The replay reveals the deal, baby. Accepts it with a bucket, perfectly executed. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's the trap. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Executes the baby hook. Ate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Going to move it around the perimeter. Puts it up. That was nice. Good fake. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Gave it up. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He nails the bucket. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. On the dribble, gives it up. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Gave it up. Picked out of the air. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Range the shot. Off. 
He makes it, draws the foul, and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in the player. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. A high screen from left of the circle. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. It's good. Working it around the perimeter. He pulls the trigger. Great shot. for two. Wake Forest have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Trying to draw the foul. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. It sticks. Got to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. And he scores despite the hack. Side. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He shoots from the top of the circle. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He's the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Dick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Second one is no good. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Intercepted. 
For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Oh, what a strip, Brad. For two, he's not even looking for the open man dead. They might need a quick T.O., baby. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Looking for a good shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes away the pass. the defense here now. Strips the ball. On the outside. Takes the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. He shoots from the baseline. The shot won't fall. Nick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. around the arc and the ball goes out of bounds oh this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team well there's euphoria out there they're really excited they're going bananas dick when i see those types of things i just get chills hey this place is remarkable the noise is dusty right now I've got to focus defensively on the dribble gives it up picks off the lazy pass goes up for two he gets the bucket perimeter he shoots from the top of the circle he takes the rebound great defensive play anticipating well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action with the jump hook I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. a double team waiting there. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. Push 
the basketball. He puts it up quick to beat the clock. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Wake Forest destroys their opponent. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. That's going to do it.